Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to enable or disable the Steam input. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the controller tab and over here select the option which says enable Steam input and then you have to relaunch the game to launch the game once again and then check. If that does not work, you can even select disable Steam input and then you can check. So check which one is working fine for you. For many users, enabling Steam input has worked. So you can try this. Now the next step is now this is for PlayStation controller user. Uh, type in Control Panel in Windows Search box and then click on Control Panel. Go to Hardware and Sound and then go to Sound option over here. Now you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. So right now the controller is not detected over here. So I'm connecting my PlayStation controller. Once you connect your controller your controller if this is disabled you can make a right click and this enable it so in my case it is already enabled once you enable it make a right click once again and then click on configure speaker select the option select the option quad quadraphonic and then click on next and then make sure that you put a check on the box which says front left and right and surround speaker put a check on these two boxes then click on next click on finish you can now you have to relaunch the game and make sure that you this time you can use the wire connection so connect to your controller using the cable and then launch the game now it's still not working the next step is to update your controller using playstation or xbox accessories app so if you have xbox controller then it, it open microsoft store in the search box type in xbox accessories and then you can launch install it and then launch xbox accessories app now, once you install it, you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. So you have to use the wired connection. Connect your controller using the USB cable. Once it is connected, you will see your controller detected over here. Now click on these three dots. And then over here, if there is any update, you will see update now option. So click on update and then you can click on continue and let the update complete. Once the update is complete, you can launch the game once again and then check. Similarly, if you have PlayStation accessories PlayStation controller in that case you can install PlayStation accessories app so in Google search you can type in PlayStation accessories and then go to PlayStation website go to the official website click on download for Windows you can run this um, exe file install it and then you can launch PlayStation accessories app once you launch it you have to connect your controller make sure that you connect your controller once you you connect your controller you will see your controller and if there is any update you will see update option in my case it's already already up to date so if you see update option you can update your controller and then you have to launch the game once again and then check now still not working the next step is to playstation controller user you can use ds4 windows so if you have already installed it you can launch it and then you can use this application if not install you can install it and then you can configure your controller and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode so go to steam make a right click uh, go to steam at the top right here you can see enter big picture mode icon click on it now once steam is in big picture mode now you can launch the game from here and then check if that does not work disconnect all the external devices connected to the computer so if you have any kind of usb adapter any kind of external devices which you're not using disconnected disconnect keyboard if you are using external keyboard disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer sometimes we have extra controller the dongle connected disconnected disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor if you have any if you're using any kind of virtual controller like Vjoy, etc., you can disable it or you can uninstall it, launch the game, and then check. The last step is you use wired connection. So if nothing is working, you can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer. And once you have a wired connection, you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.